Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator. So in today's video, we are making silage and wrapping the bale. As you can see over there, it's a couple of second time trying this out. Uh, the first time I tried recording, the FPS has just took a massive tank. Um, bear in mind when I play this normally, I'm anywhere from 50 to 40 FPS. So I'm kind of getting at a loss. I'm pretty sure the last update has a massive memory leak. When I was doing the mowing part of the video it was fine. Once I started to win row and I got to that side of the map of the field here, that's when it real screwed up. So Aegis Tractor. Many of you uh, may want to download it. Many of you may have an issue that got brought to my attention that I didn't even realize existed because I had it. It requires the drive control mod. It has to have it for it to work, otherwise your game will crash. It will have to control it, delete to get out of it. So people facing that issue, that's why. I didn't really get that. He linked it quite a bit in his description, but it's not in English. Even with um, Google Chrome Translate and stuff, it's still not in English. I find quite strange. Usually it is. He's usually pretty good at translating stuff for people too. But this tractor is... There's some stuff I'm not a big fan on. Um, how loud it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to boost the volume and turn down the game volume like normal. Maybe a little more than normal. Because how quiet Wow, quite my voice is going to sound and how loud this thing is compared to no normal tractors in the game. It seems quite strange. And also the dirty texture, it's just, it's almost like it's too much. Personal preference right there. It's, it's washable. <laughs> Most of this stuff is, so we've been used to that. What else? There's some, one massive feature in this that I only saw last night. I was playing this quite a lot last night actually quite a while. It's on TeamSpeak with uh, Rubberside Down and Deputy P. Go check them out. The links are in my channel. Um, the front axle. He has modelled the suspension correctly. That's right. There is no suspension. It pivots in the centre. People at Giants said, ah, oh, the tractors have more suspension at the front for more realis realistic. Tractors like that don't have suspension on the front. Most of the tractors in game, now I emphasis on the in game part, have a pivot axle style so it swings from left to right. It doesn't go up and down individually, it's not an independent suspension. Um, some people may not know this, but I'm a fully qualified mechanic, fully trained mechanic, just been looking for work. So this type of stuff. I know about. You can see there the way, we, the way it's going. Giants need to fix that. Yeah, that right there, it's not just personal, personal preference, it's kind of like they modeled all the tractors wrong. That's a lot of the physics, because a lot of people, are, mods have come out. I'm just going to get this little section here. Model the tractors wrong because of it. It's something I felt quite strongly from, or st quite strongly about from the get-go. I'll show you over here. Okay, right there. Can even drop this so. There we go. See how it does that? That's what it should be doing in stock stuff. I just... It, it really has bugged me from the get-go. See it working there? And those two tractors, they've been their suspension's been modelled wrong as well. Because of it. Ooh, I disconnected that. 
It's a little thing, but it, it bugs me. It really does. Okay, let's see. If my FPS takes a massive tank again. Like I say, it was only once I hit a certain spot. And because I've already... I actually finished this field. I was going to cut it up and do it right, but I've got plenty of time so far. I'm just going to redo the whole video. Uh, so I'm probably going to be going faster than I should be, but... I just want to get this done and over with. Most of the time you restart the game and it's usually okay. It's just whatever I've just done, I've lost, and if it gets halfway through a video and does it, it's a pain in the ass. If it, if it keeps doing it, I'm going to have to lose the mirrors and drop the graphics down to medium, just to make the game playable while recording. I really like using the mirrors. I'm never in cab though, really, as you guys know, so... I'm missing out. Eh, I don't know. Kind of like having them there, though. So, with this, as I've got to explain once I get to the bail part more than anything. Right now, I'm just what we call wind rowing, and that's putting it into these nice rows. So the bailer can come along and suck it all up and make it into a bale. If we were going to make hay, what we'd do after is ted it, and it's basically just like a rake. It's a big massive rake. Like this is. It's a rake. But th that one, the tether, flips it so the grass can be dried. Now in game, as soon as you do that, it's instantly dried. Of course, real life. A couple of days, depending on the weather, I don't know how long. People let it sit on the ground, I guess it's personal preference, really. But I really wanted to try this. I've never really dabbled in the wrap here, but I've got a mod in the game where it makes the bales actually disappear, if you like, when they get old. I'm guessing they just vanish, I guess. But they'll get to a point where they'll lose all of the strength in them and they'll just kind of break apart. And I guess when they break apart, as they can do in real life, and they get all old, black and mouldy, and become compost. They disappear in game. I don't know, but it gives you values of like what grade it is, uh, humidity. If, if it's raining and the humidity is down or up, should I say, the bale's going to be worthless. If it's a silage one, like these will be, you've got a fermenting tab. It's a real sweet mod as. I believe it's by the same guy who does the drive control stuff and it's really worth looking into if you want the added realism. There's people out are going for the more realistic stuff in this one. That's real nice to see. It's got quite a few stuff out like that I need to really read on. But as most times his language is not English so the translation on mod hosters can do its best and Google Chrome can do its best in translating them sometimes, it's just gaps. Some good modders that speak English, but a lot of the script stuff right now, anyway, is coming out from Germany, that side of the pond. So far so good though. Now with the textures on the wrap, you may see in a minute once we get close, once it renders in. Red lettering. Is that part of the mod, do people know? Or is it actually stock to have word on it on the wrap now? That I'm not 100% about. I'm pretty sure it's the mod doing that. I'm actually almost 100% it's the mod. Looks like we'll be okay for this video. Thank God. It's weird, it's hitting me. Sometimes it'll have a massive memory leak when recording, because I'm pretty sure that's what's causing it. They, if it is, Giants really need to update it. Because they've never had this bad of a problem since one point. One update came out, and that was when the game was released.
I don't like turning so tight because it's going to be a bitch with the bear, but no mind. One more pass, hopefully. Got all the John Deere's down here too. And some people may have been wondering the weights on the front of this thing. I'll buy the same guy who made the tractor. Um, M BM 3D modeling or MB 3D modeling, I believe it is. One of the two. Um, he made the weights, um, but he Riverside Down sent him to me. In a link. Uh, apparently it's kind of been kept under the radar for right now. I don't think it's actually on the main mod hoster page. When I looked, because both me and him checked Alien, we didn't see him. Well, he's got a little bug on his own track that I find kind of disappointing, but see that. But other than that, they are fantastic. You can change the size on them. And you can see the tractor lifting up again. That's unrealistic. They look pretty cool. Yeah, you got the one for the front here and the New Holland. And. Uh, well, the New Holland. Yeah. You can get blue or black ones, whatever. Pick your own colour. Pick orange ones, all you like. For the Kubota fans out there. I feel sorry for you guys. Anything I like about Kubota? They're orange. That's about it. I've heard very much ups and downs on those machines. So I'll uh, jump into the baler. There it is. Now the round balers you have to stop to let out the baler. So I know a lot of you probably already know this, but it's for the newbies out there for farm sim, and there's plenty of people that don't take this wrong way now, guys, that have no idea what the hell you're doing in farm sim. Now, in a minute, you'll start hearing beeps. That's to let you know, hey, there's going to be a bear pretty soon. And the different sounds in real machines probably very my guess is there'll be another tone saying hey the bell's right so we back up a little let it out so that's the texture right forward ahead and okay you don't need to lift your head over there that was just me trying to figure out the buttons and you pretty much just Follow the wind run all the way around. Poop out bales. I definitely prefer square baling. Because you don't have to keep an eye on the amount. Usually you'd have a computer over here or something. That'd be the next step for Giants to be able to do. Is onboard computer systems for more realism for people. a little bail system. Well, it'd probably actually be... may even be on the A pillar there. Could be the B. Not sure. For all I know, it could even be that grab handle there, but that's another door. Yeah, it is. It's more than likely over here somewhere. Now, this is probably going to roll on me. It's been good. Of course, the baler I am using is the stock baler.
I'm seeing my FPS start dropping, so maybe you can take a tank on me. If it does, I'll pause. I'll render up what I've got. Uh, right now, it's just over 15 minutes. May just have to do a computer restart. Oh, it's not good for the map. By the looks of it, I'm gonna have to do a computer restart. For freak's sakes. So guys, I shall be back in a little... Well, for you it'll be a couple of seconds, but... Uh, next part of the video. So I shall be back. Well, I am back. I'll re try, retry doing this. I rebooted the computer and whatnot. So we will try it again. I went around a couple of times. Um, seemed okay without recording. So this is high graphics settings again. We'll give it a try. Also, I found another mod. That's right, bell counter. So uh, this is something the game's needed for a while. Well, I uh, hope for the best if it screws up again. I'm at a loss. Really am. So hopefully we should be okay. Wrap these up. So this uh, bail counter mod, it's from Farming Sims main website in the mod section. So if you guys want to go check that out, download it and install it if you're into your building. Like I am now. Since the 2015 came out, Balin handling and Balin itself is just a dream. I've never liked it before. Because in 13, how bad the bales handled. Some of you guys that are still playing 13 for a whatever reason. You're missing out on awesome stuff like this. There were some people that could actually stack the bales beautifully. I just don't know how people could do it in the past. So I am seeing one issue with the mod and that is oh no that is the drive control is not being displayed properly because of the bale counter. There's no real worries because you can just do that and double check stuff. So each of the render I'll rather have a bail counter, personally. Oh we've got what's this? Two more passes. A little bit there that I'll just leave. Sometimes I hit the wrong button, or just miss time pressing the bumper buttons. So 
So I may record a video straight after doing this one. Have a couple of days. Maybe the Christmas period, of course. A New Year period. This video is kind of a mess. Rolling. So I think I have noticed since the bells don't roll a whole lot now. That is nice. Compared to what they used to. Even if they were on a slight hill like up here. I can see one that's spun around by the looks of it. I don't know when we're going to get back onto the forestry stuff. Probably soon enough, though. It'd be nice if there was a proper skidder out, like a decent modelled one, and one that looked like a real skidder. There's a couple of mods floating around from 13 that con got converted around, well, converted to 15s. They am that great. A lot of you know that have been around my channel and any new subscriber. And thinking about suggesting mod mods is, I do look at the comments, I may not reply to all of them, but I do read them. I like realistic mods, I don't like any of these ones that will almost do a whole field in one pass kind of deal. Or I like realism, and mainly my style of farming is stuff that you'd find over in the UK or, more importantly, around by me in the UK. So sort of, this size of tractor and kind of the fence style. Fence style, Lamborghini size, and the R model John Deere over there. It's the stuff you mainly see around by me. Now again, you'll see the old articulated tractor. And farm and sim, I've just never really been a fan of them. I've tried the articulated tractor once on a multiplayer server, and didn't care for it. I've, I can honestly say I have never loaded it into a single player map to try it out on my game saves and you look go through them. There's nothing there. This type of stuff right here? Love it. The word on the grapevine is Chris7710 is releasing a mana farm map. I believe he had that out for 13. I think he played for it for a little bit. Something I didn't really care for. Something. So it wasn't overly... Well, I didn't overly play on it a lot. So we got eight bales in total through this thing after installing the mod. Just driving around, just picking up the loose ends. But I think we're going to have to call it a wrap. Put them punch, and we'll move on to wrap bell rubber. Now the wrapper, I'm gonna need to take off this. And just scoot across and pick up the wrapper. Now, something to watch out, I think I mentioned in yesterday's video about Ego's tractor is it slides around so I would never keep it next to or anywhere near machinery keep it while outdoors because you can see here I didn't park it like that I don't get why it does it but it does 
There's something I guarantee he'll address. And you are a real loud noisy tractor. Probably see it. See it sliding there. A lot of the stock stuff did that before the last update came out, but like I say, he'll fix it. He's very particular with his mods. I don't know if he's ever seen any of my videos or anything, but he definitely is particular, and so am I. Alrighty, so this the bail wrapper. Explained earlier what it does. To my knowledge, uh, I could be wrong. So there you go, you can see the texture being put on it. I don't know if it's the mod doing that or what, or whether it does that anyway. No, I don't think it would. I guess we'll do it somewhat properly. The only thing they're not showing on here is the knife coming down. There you'd have it. Just chop it right there and then it would eject. That's like So this is fairly time consuming. Really you could do it with another person or whatever going. If you were doing this yourself. Oh wow, I've got fail all the way down now. <laughs> so yeah, they do roll. Interesting. I'll un unload this one slightly early, because there's something I want to show you. So earlier I was mentioning about the mod that shows bail condition so you can't see anything now but once I get close there you go see we know it's grass the humidity is 69.8 the amount that the bale has got inside is 3,097 I screwed up that 3,971 it's sea quality and it's worth 20 pounds 20 bucks whatever this one here will have, yeah, it's grass, the humidity, the amounts, fermentation, and the quality. It varies, it really does, and it's nice. Uh, if you've got storing bales outside, any bale that's um, open to the elements in the top bales will be worth less and deteriorate a lot quicker than the bottom ones, because it has the top one as cover. That's really neat, really neat. Uh, that mod's from Mod Hoster. I can't remember the exact name of it now. Let load that puppy and then we'll go over there, pick this up and dump it there. So what we're doing is we are gearing up for the cows. People have been asking about that slowly. Yeah. Westbridge is okay, but I like the size of these fields. Some small, some big. The fields where I've got them right now, they're perfect. Oh, what's that? Seven fields. I may get... Well, technically I have eight, including this grassland that I'm in right now. But I'll... This will stay grass. And then I'll probably buy... Maybe 32, maybe even 33, maybe even both of them, for doing silage on corn silage. 
I don't know yet, bro. So let me know, guys. I want to see in the comment section if you actually like seeing this type of stuff. It's definitely something different. Some of the channel I've never done bail wrapping like this before. This attachment was in the uses pack that I just absolutely hated in 13 because of the amount it cost. I got it with YouTube money that I paid, so I got it to review for you guys. Uh, that was the biggest problem, if I remember correctly, that I had with it. There's not many of their machines in this one. As this is being wrapped, we'll need to go into Telehandler and we'll need to get this wrapped bale handler. I do recommend using this guy for all of the bales, all the round bales though. We'll need to take the telly over there and go get it. So what do we got? I think roughly we're at 19 bales, including some that I can't see over the back there. I don't know how many we can stack on the trailer at a time. The one trailer I have. That's uh, BM Modins. I think. I say I think because I can never remember their names. The guy that made this tractor and the guys who do the Unimog and the Forest mod for 13 have very similar names. Unfortunately, still no sound on the Unimog. In this game save, I'm thinking about getting rid of some of the tractors I have. Because I have a lot and I'm never going to use half of them. Stuff like the new Holland tracks and stuff like that, that'll give me a big increase in my. Uh, I've got Ego's tractor that's got plenty of power for me and. It works well. I was waiting for a modded tractor that I could do everything I required and. Well, that puppy can. So, what I'm thinking is I'll tab into and hopefully this doesn't screw up the game is this guy could possibly be going, the tract. Um, as much as I don't want to, this will probably go. I like having some of the older tractors. Uh, the Dens probably will. The Lambo, I may well keep. And the New Holland, uh, how many hours have I got on this guy? Zero. I've never used this tractor. And I've had drive control in this game, say, from the get-go. So... Really, those four tractors are there. I don't use. I barely use them now, so they'll probably go. And of course, that'd be big monies right there. If you're getting rid of old machinery, I've got the new. I've got the John Deere's. I've got the John, John Deere front and loader. The loader's there, but it's down doing the bell stuff. So that's my dilemma. So I may sell that stuff and get some more, some stuff to do with the cow, maybe. Now I don't know whether to get the um, self-loading feeder or the fe the um, feeder I had before. If you don't know what I mean, I mean feeding technology. Before I had this guy here, and of course we need the straw. I don't know whether to get this guy. Or real differences of then the fact it costs a lot more is it can uh, load in the stuff together by for itself and it's got it actually holds less. It may have actually made my mind up mind up for me. 
I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys want to see? I'm thinking one on the tractor, to be perfectly honest with you. Must have miscounted. I'm counting that 18 down here now. And really, I think I've been doing this wrong. I should be huddling them together, not just moving on. So, waiting, move up, do the next couple next to each other, just for more efficiency while loading them. load and then they're gonna have to be down flat and maybe able to go double so I'll probably be able to run t well, I don't know how many of these I'll fit, be able to fit in the trailer actually in all honesty I can fit what was it 12 square bales on the uh, bale trailer I have that I actually need to bring down actually I think we're done Yeah, I think that's the mod doing something with that wrap. It'd be kind of cool if you had to carry pallets or like something on the front forks that had a couple of extra wraps. I believe that's what those three things you see sticking up in the air there are for. Is the wrap, whatever it is. I'm guessing it's just plastic wrap. Like, you had to get out. I believe it's still going to wrap it, yeah. You had to get out and actually hit a key and a new roll would peel, peel on. I can see that being wrapped. And we are done wrapping. So what did you guys think of that? Something different. Won't be all of the time I'm doing this, that's for damn sure, because of... I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to be needing. I've never done it in this way before. So this will probably stay down in the cow yard. There's plenty of barns down here that I really like. This bun here is probably where I'll keep it. Because this is just a random storage barn. Usually I like keeping everything on the farmyard, but on the forestry map, forestry map being the new map for Farm Sim 15. So I have no idea how you pronounce this. Yeah. Ah, bail up, we'll chuck in there too. And we're actually over the video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video today. Sorry it's going to be in two pieces mixed together and it may come out kind of crappy, but... This game, since the last patch, has had issues, unfortunately. And the only way, if you get a frame rate drop like that, restart your computer and it bounces back to what it should be. Usually, this computer you can handle playing this game all day long, most of the time on high graphic settings, it's weird. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of Bale Wrapping. Uh, next video, I'm probably going to record straight after finishing this one, will be uh, getting them stacked up, getting the handler, uh, the grab for the telehandler, and 
put them away in the barn over here. Somewhere. So, I'll catch you guys later.